Some of you may have already seen our glowing butterfly project that we built earlier on in one of our shorts. Today I have the project here with me, as you can see. Yeah, this is the project, it's complete form. I must mention that I made a few modifications uh, to improve the user experience, so to speak. The first modification is this USB connector and the cable. Now, with this USB type A connector I added to this board, now I'm able to power this kit using an ordinary USB power bank. And the second modification I introduced is this little switch over there. I can turn it on and off. And what this switch allows me to do is to turn the music on or off at will without affecting the actual LED patterns, which I really like. But the music can be a little too much sometimes. So this actually helps me to control that. The third modification I made are these ceramic tiles at the bottom you see there. They're glued uh, at the bottom there, uh, attached with uh, four pieces of uh, craft stick. What this allows me to do now is to put my butterfly on my desk, on my table, or any, any stand uh, for my viewing pleasure. Before I go into the details of the operation of this kit, let's first take a look at the three modifications I explained in a bit more detail in case you would like to implement them in your own project. Come on.
Now that we have seen all the modifications and how they were made, let's just go over the operation of the kit. Let's put our butterfly on the stand now that we've got the ceramic tiles. See? Perfect. Before I turn it on, I want to talk a little bit about this remote control that actually comes with the kit. Now, one point of caution though, this does need a small battery like this one. But unfortunately, the kit doesn't include this, and you need to purchase this separately yourself. It is a very easy one to get hold of. It is called a CR2025. You basically put it there on its tray, like so, and then simply slide it into the remote controller. And you know, just click it, and you're ready to go. Now, let's turn the butterfly on and see how this remote actually helps us control it. Now that we have a USB-A connector, you can use an ordinary USB power bank like so to power it. Let's just connect it and see what happens. Wow, nice and bright and loud, you see. Now let's use the switch on top to turn the music off. I like the LED patterns which, is re which are really bright, but I don't want to listen to the music. So we just turn it off. Ah, much better. Now. Like I mentioned, there's a remote that comes with this kit, but unfortunately the remote doesn't have the feature to turn the music on or off on it. So that's why I had to make that switch modification that you see on top of there. Now, what this remote allows me to do using these uh, two buttons is to basically flick between different LED patterns as well. So let's see. As you can see, I can scroll through different modes and just leave them there. So you can actually have static LED patterns as well. Right? Like so. The rest of the buttons actually help you choose the music you want. But I've tried them all. To be honest with you, there isn't a favorite so far. So you might want to experiment with it when you actually build your kit. If you can always go back to the playback mode by just pressing the play button there in the middle. Like so. And then you've got the animated LED patterns. This one is a neat little board. You can just use it for various applications. Maybe you just like to look at it. You can just put it there on your desk or maybe you might even want to use it as a uh, nightlight. Or maybe you might want to give it away as a gift. It's all up to you. So, thanks for watching.